juice is not in itself designed to look for life on an icy moon. Uh, but if we're going to find life elsewhere in the solar system, chances are it's going to be uh, underneath the ice, if there is an ocean underneath the ice on one of those moons. Um, so uh, it's going to be very exciting to look and see whether, whether we do find what we're expecting to find, whether there are salty oceans underneath the icy crusts that could contain the conditions that would support life. The moons themselves, we want to try and understand what their interior structure looks like and whether the ingredients for potential habitability are there. But the other reason the Ganymede is so important is that we think the internal structure of Ganymede um, is a whole new class of body known as a water world. Right at the end of the mission, we will go into orbit around Ganymede. And what that will allow us to do is, first of all, confirm what the ocean depth is. Also confirm what the salt content is, so how much conductivity there is. We will also confirm how deep the ice crust is above the ocean. And then in combination with other instruments, we hope to be able to work out whether it's a global ocean whether that ocean is in contact with the silicate mantle right deep in the interior, so maybe some salts are leaking out. But then some of the other instruments will be able to see whether there's organic material on the surface. If you're looking for ingredients for life or for potential habitability to form, you need four different things. First ingredient is liquid water. The second one is a heat source, which we're almost sure we have at Ganymede because there's this internal dynamo field. Organic material. And then those first three ingredients to be stable enough over a long enough period of time that something can actually happen. So carbon, nitrogen, uh, methane. Um, what that will tell you is that the conditions are there for bacteria to be able to form. So we know in the deep oceans on the Earth, there are hydrothermal vents where organic material and bacteria is found. And so that could be what we think is going on at Ganymede. We won't get underneath the surface with juice but what JUICE will be able to tell us is how thick the ice crust is. So if we want to go back again and send a lander, at least we know where to land. You know, some, I'm, I'm often asked, why aren't you sending a lander now? We don't know where to land. <laughs>